We'll begin by using the pry tool to gently open the case. Once it is open, gently remove the connector you find inside the case and then swing it open. Swing the drive out of the way. Flip up the connector that you'll find at the base and then remove the drive by wiggling it gently away. You'll find another connector that needs to be removed here. Pry it up and once that is done, you'll find that there is a total of six more screws remaining on the side that need to be removed. They are here, 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 on the other side, here, here, and here. Once you remove those screws, you'll be able to remove the faceplate and you'll be done. Reverse the order to reassemble your iPod. You can flip this over and there's also a connector there if you need to remove the buttons. Connectors right there.